Vegetarians better hold their breath because beef season is in the air. And the stew is thick. Hey, it's thicker than a fool. Boss, you are thick. I know, I've been working on my hips. How y'all doing and welcome to this edition of Simon Says. Now beef, aka that thing that vegetarians have beef with. Vegetarians have beef with beef. That's double beefing. That's beefing. Beef is on the rise like yeast. And when beef is rising high like yeast, someone is destined to get yeast infection. Ladies understand that sound. Yeasty. Now, there's a guy out here with some major beef. This guy has enough beef to feed a starving nation. This guy has enough beef to take on the head of a nation. Head on. To give a nation head? No, to call out the president. Just look. I would like to address my old friend. Although I don't think we're friends anymore. He was my friend until he burst the door of my house. So I say I want to address my old friend, and you know who I'm talking about. Please, Uru Kenyatta, you are not going to become legitimate by persecution of Kenyans. Uhuru Kenyatta, you have been called out. Jimmy Wanjiki is out here saying, me and him, we used to be friends, but now, oh. No, no friends, no, no friends, no, no friends, no, no, no. Yeah, that's how it's going to be, man. Jimmy Wanjiki is really out here with his chest out. And at his age, he must have chest hairs. And it might even be gray. So when the president sees them, he might look like this. Yeah, but it's easy to bear with when Jiggy's chest hairs because he has more teeth than he has hair. Yeah, this guy has so many teeth, when he smiles, he's exposing too many body parts. Nudes. <laughs> Nudes. But when Jiggy's not all smiles right now, he is an angry man. And you know what's worse than an angry man? An angry bald man who has money. This guy is not your everyday Jimmy Apana. Who you niwa Jiggy? Wahoo! No, not Wahoo. Wahoo niwa Yesu. Yeah, she's safe now. Who you niwa Jiggy? This guy has enough money to even give the government a loan. Because remember, the Kenyan government, they're broke. Then they come out and tell us that they're not broke. But you know what that means, right? The government is broke, and they're too broke to even see it. Sometimes you can't see how broke you are because you're too busy taking loans. So when Jiggy's out here picking fights with a broke government, not a bad idea, not bad. But you have to remember the government has the power, and they're out here flexing their muscles. And the government has a far reach, mm hmm The government has a reach like grabby but and a man's is his family. So the government has reached out to grab Jimmy Wanjiki's family. Now the government has reached out and is now prosecuting Jimmy Wanjiki's father, who's old enough to fart dust. Jimmy Wanjiki's dad looks like he's old enough to even share drinks with your ancestors. Yeah, and he out drunk them, so he's, that's why he's still alive. Last man standing. Barely. This old guy has been hit with so many charges. How are you gonna charge an old man like that? Life is about to charge him with death. Where is your decency? Yeah, this battle has already gotten ugly and it's only gonna get uglier if they don't find some love. Yeah, Wanjiki and Uhuru need to reconnect with the love that they had. I think Eric Omondi reconnected with his childhood when he was swimming at the lake. I don't hate on Eric Omondi for swimming around naked. Boys, he was just playing with people his own size. Come on. So Wanjiki and Uhuru need to go down to the lake and reconnect with the love that they once had. Mm. Because two friends that get naked together, they stay together. And that's a wrap up of this edition of Simon Says. Now make sure you like this video. Oh, like this video. And leave a comment and leave a like to Angela Minor Nodded. Angela Minor did. And you can do it too. Tell me your story. Have you seen your best friend naked? And if you have, I mean, like, remember when you're kids, you know, you used to bathe together sometimes. Yeah, but now you don't see each other naked, and that's why you've drawn apart. Go back to where you came from. See each other naked. It's a bonding thing. And make sure you subscribe. But remember, sometimes you need to see past the drama and see people for who they truly are when they're naked. That's why Uhuru and Wayla needed some time alone. Yeah. They came out very happy. They bonded. Who knows what they saw when they were together alone. Simon says, out. Hey. Thank you so much for giving me your eyeballs, your balls of eyes for that period of time. I appreciate it. Now, since you made it this far to the end of the video, I want you to take it to the next level and go right over here and subscribe so you can always be updated on any new video and any other madness that I come along. And guys, yo, I have an awesome commercial that I made for my hoodies. My hoodies are out. If you want to see the video for my hoodies, the link is in the description. I think I can put it over here, okay? I'll put it over here for you. 
videos on this side, you can also subscribe on this side. I'll make sure to put the link in the description for you to see all about my hoodies. They are so good. They keep your nipples warm, especially when the cold season is coming and your nipples get perky and then you just start rubbing against your bra and it becomes really, really bad. Yeah, I don't wear bras, but I don't know how I can relate with that. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Subscribe. Watch more videos. Very simple. Let's do this.